Hello dear followers. In our lecture today, we will explain how to upload a resource dictionary in Primavera P6 program via Microsoft Excel. Most planning and project management engineers keep data in an Excel format, the easiest and fastest option to export that data to and from Primavera to save time and effort. With regard to the resource dictionary, it cannot be imported directly from the Excel program to Primavera except after an intermediate step that takes a record time of no more than 15 minutes, which we will now explain in detail. The first step is to go to the Primavera program and add three new resources which represent the three main types of resources which is a resource with materials type and the second resource represents labor and the third resource is classified within the equipment. Thus, three main lists will be formed, under which all the resources in the project will be included according to each type. Now we can export resources only from Primavera in the XUR format. Format. Then open the exported file using Notepad. Then copy all the data in the file and put it inside a sheet in the Excel. Program. We now have all the information about the resources loaded on the Primavera program in an Excel file. We are looking for the three resources, which were named after the project, as explained in the first step. We can now delete unwanted data and keep only the three resources that were created in Primavera.
Before we start the next step, you must have a list of the resources that will be used in the project and that these resources are classified according to the type of each of them, whether they are materials, labor or equipment. Then transfer that data in the appropriate fields in the file that was previously created, as shown in the video. Many of the data will be repeated as it is in front of each new resource that has been added to the list. The modification is limited only to the identification code, the name and type of the resource, and all data for the three main resources are kept as they are. It is now the turn to determine the location of each resource within the dictionary by specifying the type of each resource and placing the identification code for the resource that represents the main list of this type of resource so that those resources are classified under the three main resources that were created in the Primavera program. We go to the resource rate data. Move that data to the bottom of the file to modify it. Then move the resource ID and allocate a sequential ID code for the rate in front of the resources.
For each resource put the cost and start date. Copy the rest of the iterative data in front of all the resources. Thus, the construction of this file has been completed, which contains all the resource data and their properties needed to set up the resource dictionary. The source file from Primavera is now opened with Notepad. Then delete all the data in it. And then replace it with the data in the Excel file to get a new file that contains the resource dictionary for the new project. Then. Last step. Import the file after modifying the data to Primavera, to find that the project's resource dictionary has been added within the three main resources, each according to its type. It reflects all the characteristics that have been specified from the resource cost and any other characteristics that have been previously allocated in the Excel file. <laughs> 